Grangemouth, one of Ineos's largest manufacturing sites, producing over 9 million litres of clean fuel and almost 1 million tonnes of chemical product a year. But with such a large-scale operation comes harmful byproducts that need to be dealt with. So what are Ineos doing to help develop the next generation of clean production? Carbon capture is a process of taking the carbon dioxide that forms during our combustion processes out of our flue gases and then capturing it and being able to store it rather than it being emitted to the environment. I think carbon capture has the potential to be a key part of the manufacturing industries going forward, but it does need to overcome the hurdles from the technology. So Imperial College London is going to have a PhD student that will be focused particularly on the, the areas of the Elegancy Consortium. Its aim is to try and understand ways in which we can better develop the technology, better understand the business case and understand the policy framework required to support the deployment of industrial cap carbon capture. And this is where that PhD student could come from. Imperial College London, one of the world's leading universities. It's important to capture carbon because as we go into the future we are going to have tougher and tougher climate change budget targets. One of the unavoidable ways of reducing carbon is going to be capturing carbon from power plants and industrial processes and putting it underground. And what better place for the future INEOS PhD student to practice than at Imperial College London's working pilot room. Of course we are a university so we can't build big things at scale but what we can do is use lab and pilot scale facilities like this to demonstrate how carbon capture will work. Our current plans with INEOS are to jointly supervise a PhD student, look at how carbon capture and storage can be employed principally in Grangemouth and with a principal focus on hydrogen-based carbon capture and storage. So will it be here at Imperial College that INEOS can find the future of clean production and help further the future of carbon capture technology? I think what we want to show them is for their different parts of their system what kind of technologies might be suitable and what some of the cost and other implications might be. So we're delighted to be working with INEOS on this project because it really demonstrates their commitment to reducing their carbon footprint and it's very interested in what we're trying to do around hydrogen and carbon capture so it ends up being a very good mix of their interests and our capabilities.